This is the all new Land Rover Discovery Sport. This is a car which will replace the Freelander 2. In terms of looks, the Discovery Sport looks really like a stretched up version of the popular Evoque SUV. So is this the best 7 seater luxury SUV you can buy in India at the moment? We'll find out on the show today. Well, the biggest advantage the Discovery Sport has against its main rivals, the Volvo XC60, the BMW X3, as well as the Audi Q5, of course, is the fact that this car is a proper seven-seater and it has seven seats. And as you can see, with all the seven seats up, the last row up, there's very minimal boot space, but you can increase that by stowing away the seats. And stowing away the seats is a very breezy affair. All you need to do is just pull this uh, little lever over here and uh, push them down. And with the seats down, the space inside the boot is comparable to the Volvo XC60 and uh, slightly lower than the one on the BMW X3. But if you want to increase space even more, then you can of course drop the backrest of the second row of seats down. And that can be done very easily by just uh, pulling these buttons over here in the corner and the seats go down with minimum fuss. Well, so here I'm in the last row of the Discovery's uh, cabin and surprisingly it's a good place to be even for a tall adult like me. I have pushed these seats all the way up front and as you can see legroom is just about adequate but headroom is uh, pretty decent considering my height is 5'10". Not a very great place for adults on those long journeys but kids should be absolutely perfect over here and even if you are an adult and sitting over here it should not really be a big issue for those small city trips. So here I am now in the second row of the Discovery's uh, cabin and uh, I have pushed these seats all the way up ahead and uh, there's minimum leg room and headroom is pretty decent but of course I can push them all the way back and I will push the other one as well and uh, that really generates a lot of knee room inside the cabin as you can see knee room is more than abundant in fact it is in the league of the much bigger and more expensive Range Rover from the same brand and uh, it's a good place to be the seat uh, quality is very good the cushioning is excellent and because it's a genuinely wide car at the back you can sit three over here there's a bit of a hump over here but it's not a very big one we've seen some taller humps in the floorboard from uh, some of the rivals like the BMW and because the footwells are generous around that hump you can of course sit three over here and uh, whoever's sitting here will have plenty of place to stretch his feet without having any fight with the other occupants and all that uh, comfort and space along with this uh, panoramic sunroof really gives you a sense of uh, luxury inside the Discovery's uh, cabin. So a great place to be in the second row of seats as well. Well, so here I am now in the front row of the new Discovery seats and I have to say this is a faultless cabin. The quality of the materials used is absolutely brilliant and that along with this beige and black combination works really well. It's a very classy cabin to sit in. Now it's not as flashy as its main rival the Audi Q5 or the BMW X3 in terms of design but it feels very mature, feels very posh and feels very very upmarket. Well, to add to the sense of uh, drama inside the cabin, as soon as you hit that start-stop button for the engine to start, this uh, swivel wheel pops out. This, of course, remember, is the gear knob over here. Well, the other new thing inside this car, of course, is this new 8-inch screen over here, which uh, houses the controls for all the systems in this car. And it's a very nice and easy-to-use system. It's very intuitive to operate, and even the touch is uh, very good. The center of the dashboard houses uh, the AC controls in uh, their circular uh, theme and it's a very easy to operate system and uh, really does feel very nice and tactile to operate. You also get two uh, zone climate control over here as well as uh, park assist. You get a reverse parking camera and because this is the, the top of the line version you get a lot of safety equipment as well. You of course get uh, traction control, hill descent assist and you also get multiple airbags. There's a driver knee airbag over here and the side curtain airbag go all the way to the back. Well, the steering wheel adjusts for uh, rake as well as for reach and that along with the fact that these are power adjusted seats means that finding a comfortable driving position is a breezy affair inside this car. Well, so here I am driving the Discovery Sport and this car of course comes with a 2.2 litre uh, diesel engine. Now this engine comes in two states of tune. There's a 147 bhp version which we are driving at the moment and there's also a 187 bhp version which is of course a lot more expensive to buy. But the other good point about this engine is the fact that it's a very responsive engine and a little bit of throttle input is all you need to propel this car forward. And if you do of course uh, use it in top gear and are pushing that accelerator pedal all the way down, you will be doing some serious speeds without knowing it because this car really does mask its speed very well. Well, high speed ride is very good and it's a very stable car. If you are someone who enjoys uh, pushing his car into corners 
and are a keen driver then this car is pretty decent at it it's not in the same league as maybe say a BMW X3 is but that said uh, there's some fun to be had for keener drivers because the steering wheel is really crisp and it really does offer you loads of feedback and wherever you point the steering wheel the car goes in that direction and that along with the fact that these tires are very grippy on the outside as well as the solid braking of this car makes it a very agile handler when you are pushing it in that hilly section well most uh, SUV owners who buy these uh, premium SUVs don't really uh, buy them to take them off road uh, and uh, they buy these cars more for their image as well as the comfort that these cars offer but that said this of course is a Land Rover so it has to have uh, 4x4 abilities and uh, Land Rover offers you their famous uh, all terrain uh, response system and all you need to do is click this button over here and choose uh, what kind of surface you are driving on and the car really will take care of the rest and this car is a much better off roader than its main rivals because of this terrain response system. Well another area where this car excels is in refinement it does uh, have a little bit of diesel engine clatter when you start it from cold but once of course the engine is warmed up after a couple of minutes uh, there's very little noise which enters the cabin and even when you are pumping it on the highway there's very little which filters through and that's largely because uh, it has a 9 speed gearbox so when you are doing speeds in excess of 100 110 kph on the highway and the gearbox is in its top gear the engine is spinning at a relatively low 1800 1900 rpm making the cabin a very quiet and calm place to be in well the discovery sport is a pretty relaxing car to drive when you are driving it inside the city and that's largely because even though it's a pretty big car uh, the glass area is pretty big and that gives you a good view of the road ahead as well as uh, whatever's happening around you and that adds to a sense of confidence when you are driving this car also because uh, you sit a lot higher than you sit in most of its other rivals you can really uh, look down at other puny vehicles and feel like the boss <laughs> Well, don't think of the Discovery Sport as a replacement for the Freelander, but think of it as a more user-friendly as well as practical version of the Evoque SUV. So with its off-roading capabilities, that slick 9-speed gearbox as well as the 7-seat cabin, is this the best premium SUV at this price point? Well, looking at it, it really is hard to say no.